In the heart of Africa, where ancient winds whisper secrets through the tall grass, lives a creature unlike any other. A phantom of the plains. A hunter of silence and speed. This is the cheetah. The fastest land animal on earth, but also one of the most fragile. In this documentary, we follow the cheetah's story, from birth to hunt, from survival to legacy. This is not just a predator. It is a marvel of evolution. Origins of the Speedster The cheetah's lineage is ancient. Fossils show that their ancestors roamed the earth over 3 million years ago. Unlike lions and leopards, cheetahs belong to a unique genus, the Cynonyx. The name means, no-move claw, referencing their semi-retractable claws, a feature more common in dogs than cats. These adaptations hint at a different path in evolution, not of strength, but of speed. Where lions evolved for power and teamwork, the cheetah became a solitary missile, built to explode across the land in a deadly burst of motion. The Anatomy of a Champion The cheetah is a living masterpiece of biomechanics. Its body is a paradox, fragile and fierce. A deep chest houses a massive heart and oversized lungs, the engine behind its incredible bursts of speed. Its lightweight frame minimizes resistance. Its spine is the key, a flexible whip that extends its stride to over 7 meters in full sprint. It's not just fast, it's engineered for precision. With each stride, the cheetah spends more time airborne than on the ground. Its tail, long and flat, swings like a counterbalance, adjusting the animal's trajectory mid-chase. Eyes positioned high on the head allow a wide field of vision. Black tear marks help reduce glare and focus vision like natural sunglasses. Everything is built for one purpose, the hunt. Predator and Prey Speed alone is not enough. The cheetah must choose its moment with perfection. It hunts during the day, unlike most cats, using its sight to spot prey at great distances. It prefers small, nimble animals, gazelles, impalas, hares. Its hunting method is not stealthy stalking like a leopard, nor ambush like a lion, it is a calculated sprint. When the chase begins, time slows. The cheetah accelerates faster than a Ferrari. It weaves, shifts, cuts, as its prey desperately tries to escape. But this effort comes at a cost. A sprint burns energy at an astonishing rate. Within 30 seconds, the cheetah's body temperature becomes dangerously high. If the hunt fails, it must stop, or die trying. Even after a successful kill, the danger isn't over. Lions, hyenas, vultures, all lie in wait. A cheetah must eat quickly, or lose its prize. The Challenge of Motherhood For a female cheetah, survival is not just a personal fight, it's a mission to raise the next generation. A mother cheetah raises her cubs alone. She must hunt, defend, and move constantly to protect them from predators. Cubs are born blind, weighing just 300 grams. They are completely helpless, and more than 90% die in the wild. But the mother teaches them to survive. They learn to stalk, to chase, to hide. At six months, they begin practicing hunts. By 18 months, they are ready to leave her side and claim their place in the vast savanna. The Landscape of Speed The cheetah's kingdom is shrinking. Once ranging from India to South Africa, their domain now exists mostly in isolated pockets. Today, over 90% of the cheetah population is found in just six African countries. The last Asiatic cheetahs, fewer than 20, survive in remote parts of Iran. Cheetahs prefer open landscapes. They need space, to see, to stalk, to sprint. But roads, fences, and farms are dividing their world into pieces. 
Habitat fragmentation has become the silent killer of cheetahs. A species in crisis. The cheetah faces a silent extinction. Fewer than 7,000 remain in the wild. Less than 10% of cubs survive to adulthood. And their genetic diversity, already dangerously low, continues to drop. Some populations are so inbred, they can barely reproduce. Disease, climate change, human-wildlife conflict, all threaten this fragile species. And in some countries, cheetah cubs are stolen and sold illegally as exotic pets, often dying in transport. Conservation and hope. But there is hope. Organizations across Africa are working to protect the cheetah. GPS tracking, community education, anti-poaching patrols, and land preservation are all helping. Farmers are being taught non-lethal methods to protect livestock, reducing the need to kill cheetahs in retaliation. New protected areas and wildlife corridors are giving cheetahs room to roam once more. In India, efforts are underway to reintroduce cheetahs into their former range, a bold and controversial experiment. The race to save the cheetah is on, and this time, it's a race against extinction. What we can learn from the cheetah. The cheetah teaches us that survival is not always about strength. It's about adaptation. About balance. About speed when it matters, and stillness when it counts. It teaches us to value what is rare. To act before it's too late. In a world where nature's wonders are disappearing faster than ever, the cheetah reminds us. Some things are too beautiful, too unique, to lose. It begins with awareness. It continues with action. And it ends, only if we let it. The cheetah's story is not over yet. But we must run with it, before the silence becomes permanent. <laughs>